Vince is chilling. What more can I say? Top billing. What up, everybody? This your man, Bill Bellamy, and this is Top Billing, the number one podcast for the culture, the movement, and the discussion. We have a special guest for you today. Singer, songwriter, producer, the kid is out of Jersey. I'm so <laughs> amped right now. If you don't know this music, R&B, you don't know this new wave, you don't know what's happening. You got to know the name Tone Stith in the building. Can we make some noise on Top Billing? Come on, in the now. Building. Come on now. Come Let's on stop now. playing with it. Stop, <laughs> stop playing. Playing with with it. It. Stop playing Bruh. with it. Stop playing with it. Bruh, let me tell you why I'm so proud of you. One, mm. you represent Jersey, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's, you know, it's East natural. Coast, come on. East Coast love right there. But let me tell you how I got wind of you. Way mm-hmm. before I, you know, I knew I was going to interview, right? So I'm on my um, I'm on my Spotify. Um, I had my Spotify over here, and I'm on my Instagram, right? Uh-huh. You were sitting there uh, doing like an acoustic joint, real low key, you know. I said, damn, who the fuck is that? Like, that's like, you know, I'm keeping it jersey. Yeah, yeah, come on. Like, who yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. Is that? I'm like, yo, money cool. So I, I hit, listen what I do. I, I click like, uh-huh. then I click on your name, yeah. and I go to Spotify. I start adding everything. <laughs> And listen, it's it's no cap. He showed me. I showed you. Yeah. No, I swear to God, because I know music, and I was just like, "Yo, this dude is dope. He's in his in his own lane." Mm. And I like I like I like your voice, the tone, your songwriting. I did not know how many hits you had until yes, I started sir. going down the, going down the list. How man. long you been doing it? Woo! So I mean, look, look, I've been on the scene. I'll just say um, from 2015 okay. when Liquor dropped with Chris. Okay, so that was the first like big thing that big I did boom. and got my recognition you know he's yeah. a songwriter singer songwriter from Jersey you know this right. this and that so after that it was just kind of like the the snowball effect right. bro Chris Brown liquor just in case you yeah. know you call him <laughs> CB breezy look you know that he already know him we so did liquor <laughs> you know we did make love uh, you know I co-wrote on undecided there's a few off the mixtape so this is just a bunch of stuff but wow yeah, man. so how do I how do I get to you like okay yeah. I got an idea for a song because I've always wondered how this works right uh-huh. how do you as a songwriter go I want to help you on that, or you do they submit something to you here and you just start writing to so, it? So, so this really how I operate mm-hmm. is I just use technology now as my friend. Okay. So honestly, if you if somebody wants to get something to me, Instagram, Twitter, that's the quickest way. Right. Just, just tag me in me. and be like, "Yo, I got this for you," and I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna be like, "All right, this is dope. I'm gonna get on it." Okay. And if you know, if not, then you know it is what it is. But keep working. But that's that's the way. Yeah, because undecided. Um, that was a sample from Shanice Wilson. Yep. And um, Chris reached out to me because I it's just so interesting. He was just like, I don't know how he knew I knew Flex and, and oh, Shanice. That's crazy, yeah. So he was like, yo, B, man, I got a, I got an idea that I want to like flip that that song. Mm-hmm. So I just gave him the number. And the next day I know, do 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 <laughs> and it, and, it, and it, it was it was very 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 it was like it was like taking it to another level. We still mm. had the vibe because it's a happy track. Exactly right. It's a happy track. Right, right. But he just put his thing on his told the love story. Is that what you into telling love stories? Man, yes. That's, I mean, I grew up on love, man. Right. I, I I grew up on all R and B music, <laughs> gospel music. Right. You know, you know, first love is God. You know, yes. in church. So that's I really learned that. Okay. And then I was like, okay. Then the R and B music was introduced to me, and it was over. And, and I, the um, FFWM, yep, that uh, that one right there spoke to my spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. feel the vibe. Yeah. Buddy. You know, we need more guys like y'all that can write them lyrics that dudes can't necessarily figure out how to say to a Ooh, chick. But you can on. throw it on. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk you know to what I mean? Yeah. You know, I remember, you know, when I first met Trey Songs, you know, Trey was, you know, he was Mr. Panty Dropper, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you know what I mean. Right, and now you, you, you got a, you got another way to do it. Like you, you finesse it. Exactly, it's, it's sexy, smooth. Exactly. Yeah. Look, look, my name. Mm-hmm. That that has every. That tells you everything. Yeah. It's the tone, bro. It's yeah. the tone. It's the tone. It's, it's the, the tone. tone. And and that and that is one of the things that I actually um want to give you a flowers about too. Mm. It's like the, your voice. The, you you know the tone of your voice and your range is kind of smooth. It's like dope. It's like I was like, dang. That's what made me sit and pause and like say, dang, who that? Yeah. You know because I've been around music thirty years. Gotcha. You know what I mean I I've heard a lot of different artists and different styles uh-huh. and stuff. Like I remember the first time I met Pink Sweats. Yeah. You know yeah, he's a homie. Yeah, yeah. A cool guy. And I was like, damn, that's dope. He got his own thing. You know, Music Soul Child's been here. Another one of my favorite got guys. You, yeah. So you know I really love the yeah, music. Yeah, you love you music know, for real, right. 
right. Sierra Thomas has been on the show. Right, right. Shout so out. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited about, you know, the artists. You mm. know, I don't ever want that to go the way. I don't ever want that to go away where the artist is not given his flowers. You know, mm. I, I do like streaming. I do like, you know, that we do have access to music, but I still miss buying the record. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, like, like I want to go out and buy your record. Like, yeah. buy your CD. I want to see the artwork. How does that feel now where people, you kind of just got to put it out there, like, you know, in a new world? I mean, it's, it's a transition because I was in the era of uh, Napster. So when, right when, when it Napster, changed. Napster dropped and it was like, okay, uh -oh. I remember telling my parents like, all right, can I buy this? Can I buy this album? Dad, is your credit card on here? I can, I can buy this song. And then I remember he told me, yeah. So I was, I was running it up. I was like going crazy. I bought right. Neo's project. Right. I think I, um, I forgot who else. Definitely Chris. Uh. But I was running it up and he was like, boy, you, you spent how much on this music? And I'm like, dad, I didn't know. I thought, it, you know, right. I didn't know. It was like, oh, I was clicking. Yes. Click, yes. And it worked. Yes. And it came. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a transition um and obviously everything moves forward with time so it's just something to get used to uh with the streaming thing but i do love that they do like the playlist and things like yeah. that because that allowed me uh to discover other artists that i haven't heard of uh, see the in, same in the playlist. Thing. yeah exactly so i'll just be listening and be like oh this is dope who's this it's a new artist and, or somebody else you know what i'm saying so i i appreciate that aspect of it how how are you able to team up like this is just some of the people he worked with so you got so you got ty dollar sign chris mm -hmm. brown her you got is it Maida? Maida. Maida. yep Maida, who is bonkers <laughs> If y'all know about Meta, y'all better go bruh, go get yourself familiar. Rise with Tomato. <laughs> with Meta. Meta. Meta, Meta. Meta. Go look it up if you think it's a game. If you like it's no games it's, being played. It's no games being played. You guys, it's like, how do you guys collaborate like that? How do you find a person that kind of matches that you say, okay, man, this we could do something beautiful? Man, together. it's you know what? My journey has always been organic. Mm -hmm. Um uh I'm gonna just rewind a little bit. Okay. So I was in a group. Uh, back, I'll say from 2009 to like 2014, right? Mm -hmm. We actually got discovered on YouTube by Justin Bieber. And Justin Bieber had seen our video and he was with Jazz Prince at the time. Yeah. Jazz Prince reached out, reached out to us. Mm -hmm. Hey, what y'all doing? Blah, 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 blah. Chopped it up with him. We, we eventually signed to him. Okay. Brought me to LA. So then through <laughs> Jazz, I met Chris, I met Drake, I met all these people. Um, and then fast forward down the line, my for, my first uh, tour with her is when I met her, wow. and you know we had did a remix. <laughs> my manager outside, y'all. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you, man. This this place is lit, man. I love it. Go ahead. Um. So so we had met on tour, but what was crazy was her gave me a chance before we ever met in person. Um. She had the song called Could Have Been, and it was wow. with Bryson Tiller, and she was like, Yo. I'm doing a remix and her team reached out to my team at the time and was like, yo, we would love for Tone to be on a remix. And it was crazy because I'm like, yo, we never met a day in our life. And she's literally giving me an opportunity oh, to just throw God. a verse that ain't no but on a remix. It's God, bro. That's God, bro. So after that remix came out, I ended up going on tour with her. So it was a moment yeah. in the show where um, where she would bring me out on stage every night to do the remix that mm. could have been. And we would go back and forth. And it was just like, it was surreal to me because it was like, yo, it, she's a beast, bro. Big, I'm bro. like, Stop. If for the people that don't know or really just don't know music like that, and can't decipher what's what. She's a beast, she bro. Is a straight so beast. It was just an game. honor to just go out there and just be able to, you know, her giving me the floor to showcase but my talent. You so. know what? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you this. 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 I'm gonna sound like an OG. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. OG. <laughs> this is like sage advice. <laughs> Your gift will make room for you. Right. Come on now. Okay. Yeah. Your gift will put you in the room amongst the best of the best mm. right and so it's really no coincidence that you were invited because mm. she saw something in you mm. you know felt your energy or whatever it was she was like i want that mm -hmm. and when you see it and it, and it, it clicks it's easy yeah and so when y'all got together it was I, I guarantee it was flawless it was flawless easy easy i remember the first day of rehearsal um <laughs> we, we had drove in on the sprinter it was a long ass drive too i think we had drove to atlanta from houston Lord, yeah, that's left. a good one. It was that's wrong. a good one. Get so your we, snacks we, and go to sleep. The, you know, I'm all messed <laughs> up or whatever, and I and I wake up and I'm like, all right, we pulling up to rehearsal. I didn't even know we was. I thought we were going to the hotel, right. get ready. No, no, let's go to work. First show was the next day. It was right. like, nah, we going to rehearsal. She wants you there so y'all could go over. Could have been so y'all could do it live. This, that, and third. Pull it up, off the rip. All right, 
get on the mic. Went through the song. You got your verse ready? Blah, blah, blah. Oh! Let's go. <laughs> but I'm a, but but that's how it happened. And it was just and it was oh, fire. It was spot, yeah, bro. yeah. So <laughs> you ready? She said, come on, you ready? I'm over here like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh-huh. So we're doing uh, <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> like we're doing my vocal warm-ups. <laughs> that's when you know that's like that's one of those affirmations when you know it was meant for you. Exactly. Because right, right, right. Fresh off the bus, you ready, man, for your opportunity. It wasn't no, right. it wasn't it wasn't no getting ready. No, 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 no. It's like, look, okay. I'm ready. It's time to go. All right, cool. Right. Yep. So how did you how did you end up um just I want to backtrack. How did you end up on co-writing with uh liquor with, with Chris? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to back to the shout out jazz. Yeah. Um he so at the time, um the group, uh Chris had reached out and he he knew about us uh-huh. and we didn't meet yet, but he was like, yo, Jazz told him like, yo, the group is in town. He was like, All right, cool, I'm in the studio tonight, you know, bring him. So um, we went to the studio, he's cooking up. And he's like, yo, if you, you know, Chris is, he's the most fun person to work with because it's like, <laughs> it, it don't matter who's in the room. Everybody, if you have something to say to make the record better. He got you. Do it. <laughs> so he was like, yo, if y'all hear something, just tell me whatever, tell me whatever. And I'm like, yo, this is motherfucking Chris Brown, bro. Like, yeah. what the, like so. And he's dope too, bro. So, so, you know, that happens. And then, you know, he comes out the booth, he meets us, he's like, yo, yo, you know, I heard, you know, this, that, and the third about the group, y'all dope, y'all dope, I fuck with y'all. He was like, yo, play me some music. So I'm like, all right, cool, bro. I got it. I've been working on a whole ton of stuff. <laughs> right, right. Talking about being ready. It was a whole catalog ready. So I just ran through a bunch of songs, bunch of songs. He's like, bro, I love all that shit. So we left the studio. I think either the same night or the next day, he hears jazz like, bro, send me the pack, bro. So I sent him the pack. Next thing I know, we at record plant, cutting liquor, doing all these different songs. And I'm like, this is not my life, bro. This is crazy, bro. How is that possible? Bro, that's what I'm saying. It was alignment, man. It was perfect timing, bro. And and I was that was the most surreal moment. And I was like, yo, this is yo, crazy. Yeah. That, that, that is, I'm happy that you're sharing that story because it's such an inspiration to people who are artists. You know what I mean? A lot of times you just don't know when you're going to get a break. Or, yeah. oh my God, is anybody ever going to like, like really love my music? Right, right, and right. And I mean, and I'm an OG in the game and whatever, but when I discovered you, I thought you were brilliant i was just like yo this kid is dope Appreciate like yo it. man who's little money right yeah. here you know i'm i'm liking your stuff i'm going on spot bop, 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 bop. yeah and then then my producer Tarek was like yo we getting told i was like tone tone like little tone, <laughs> little little tone. instagram tone right 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 <laughs> that's all <home>? him <laughs> yeah he was like yo he really coming and i was we like here. Well, we I are said, here yo so what what we doing now I man we got to get out here and see you i want to see you live what yeah you what oh you doing? man so look man i, I just dropped my single Girls like you. Yes, um, I listen to it. And you know, I, I I got another single dropping really soon, so I'm I'm about to hit him with the uh, with the. You know uh, what I'm saying? Coming up, uh, I think on the on the 25th, I'll be at SOBs in New York. Okay. Uh, the 29th, um, Harlem Festival. There's a festival going on out out in Harlem. Um, and I'm going on tour in the fall. I just didn't announce the dates yet. Okay, don't announce the dates. Can we announce the artists? Oh, no. I can't, I can't uh, announce the artist yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Rhymes yet. with. No. <laughs> rhymes with Lake. No. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I can say one, and okay, you know, bro. One. Okay. So Eric Bellinger is going to be on the tour. So me, me and my did brother just, finally. Did I, did I just not say his name? Finally touring with my bro. Y'all going to kill. <laughs> it ain't going to shut us, it down, bro. Your woman's going to be missing that night. <laughs> I don't. Bro, I'm telling you, with, with, with Tone and Eric and whoever else they got, that's going to be a if girl's night out. If you insecure, don't come. Don't, don't. There's too much extra sexy tones. And they drop the beat out and then you do acapella and shit. Guitars and all that, you know what I'm saying? Acapellas, keys, yeah. The keys get them all moist. Right, 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 right. The keys get them moist. Come on. <laughs> right, right. Hey, I, 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 I'm going to give you a funny story. Like, I've never realized how goddamn powerful tank is right oh, so man. so i'm hosting a show in chicago with with tank eric benet and yeah and it was a music show shop and i i, I gotta give tank his flower because tank he walked in that yeah like tank is like i'm gonna take my shirt off i'm gonna be damn near halfway naked when, right. when i do my music right you right you just right. gotta be uncomfortable right right yeah <laughs> Yo, and then you know it's dudes there with their girls in the front row. Holding on to them extra tank, tight. Tank to put on baby oil. <laughs> yo. I'm like tank. r and I'm like, yo, he like r and money. I'm like, bro, bro, I'm not going to stay stay here and look at you damn near naked in, in oil and right, sweat right. while you sing all your hits. But 
He kills it. He's, Every he's, time. he's an incredible artist as well. Shout out to my boy Tank. You know I always mess with him. Yeah. But I love that what you guys are able to do, you know, what COVID made me realize um, is how much we need music. Yeah, facts. And we and it's, a, and it's an energy of exchange of energy when we go to a concert. Mm. Like, you know, there's some people that already knew you, but then there's some people that's going to discover you. Exactly. And they go, oh my God, he's my type of artist. Mm. I love that. What's the name of that song? Whenever I'm somewhere, I, I bring my Shazam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I, is that? I pull it out the air. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I'll go look it up later. You mean? Yeah. So give me give me some um some artists that you wanna that's on your bucket list that you wanna oh, man. that you wanna like, um, do a collab with. So I mean, you know, Chris was on the bucket list for for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I collab with her. Mm -hmm. Um so now I, I really I would love to do work with SZA. I would love to do some work SZA with um dope. Brent Fires. Brent Fires is dope. Jasmine Sullivan. Jasmine Sullivan. I actually just did a show with her uh, at the Prudential Center. And in, it was, in Jersey? Yup, yup. It was her, um, Queen Naja, um, Ari Lennox, Ebony Riley. And yeah, I got to got to do that with her. So that ah, was it was fire. I'm, try, I'm bro. trying to thinking of your voice, I'm trying to think of one more artist that I think you you would be um you know who? <laughs> Snow Allegra. Oh yeah, yeah, that's Ooh. the homie too. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure, Yo. for sure. Like, there's some new artists that's kind of fly like that. Yeah, like Danny Lee. Yeah, 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 yep. Yo, so like the they, crazy. They, they got that like cool vibe to them that would be complimentary to you. Like, I'm yeah. just I'm just thinking of songs that I. I just know. worked with her the other day, Danny. Yeah, yep, yep. She's yep. she gonna come on top, Danny. We waiting. Come on. Danny, where you at? Stop playing. <laughs> She's gonna come on the show as well, man. Let's go. Hey, so as a, as a songwriter, um, this is one of the things I ask Eric because mm. you know when you're a songwriter and an artist, sometimes you write for you, and yeah. then sometimes you write for other people. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eric wrote a few songs that he was like, "Shit, <laughs> I shouldn't have gave that one." <laughs> right, right, right. Ah! <laughs> that was that one. That was that one. <laughs> that was that one. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. Yeah, you never. That's right, the that's right. the part. That's the know. part. Is there is there a song that you know you wrote and you was kind of like, oh man, I, I should have held on that one for three, three more days. You know what? Which nah, one? man, I don't I don't feel that way. Okay, I don't feel that way about my songs and my music because I feel like what's meant to be will be. Okay, so I feel like when I when I made liquor, I was like nineteen, twenty in my in my room back in Jersey, right. and even making a song, I knew the song was fire. But it was always like, yo, I mean, I like the song a lot. I'll play it for everybody. They'd be like, yo, this is, this is hard. Crazy. Liquor but is once crazy. But Chris you was 19. It, what the hell you know about liquor? No, go ahead. You know, no. Paul, you know, you're party. Well, you know, you know. No, no, <laughs> Don't drink do. till you're 21. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, so you but, wrote Liquor Go. So, so when I met Chris and that was the song that he was like, yo, this, yo, this is me. Right. I was like, it's you, you, bro. It's you. And he really brought it to life in a way that I'm like, yo, I... I wasn't gonna be able you didn't, to do you that. You didn't see that part. Exactly. He brought that. He brought his experiences and the things that he went through in life. He brought that out in that song, and you wow. could you could hear that. Versus boom, me, where boom, it's like, hey, I'm still boom, new, you boom, know. Boom, hey, boom. something in this liquor. Boom, 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 boom. The air is getting thicker. Boom, boom. Can't help but to stare at you. Oh yeah, girl, what did you do to, to me? me? Hey. <laughs> Boy, man, every time I hear that, I want to drink some liquor, don't you? Don't Where the you? shots at? We got shots. Yeah, no, no. Hey, Chad, Where the Don Julio? Yeah, man, you be like, man, I should have. Uh, I shouldn't have this soda. Right. I need some That's liquor. liquor. I need that stuff. I remember when that first time I heard that. I'm, oh, yo, also give you your flowers. F F W M. Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Fucking with me. Mm -hmm. you know, for those people who know, it's, a, it's an acronym. Fuck with me, y'all. Fuck, fuck with me, man. Just fuck with me. Just fuck with me, bro. Can you just fuck with me? <laughs> what was your inspiration for that song? Oh, man. I just really love that one. Listen, right. and Jason will tell you, we was just all in the studio one night, and um, shout out to um, uh, my boys. Um, was that a producer name? No, 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 but they had a group together, something together. Oh, oh. Non-native. Oh, non so, yeah, shout out, shout out to non-native, man. Um, so we was just in there and they was they was going through loops they had made, right? Mm. And they was going, I was like, nah, going down, nah. Boom. I was like, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, what's this? Right. What's this? They went next. And they went like a few more. And I was like, no, 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 no. Bring it back to that one. That's the one. Load that up right now. So right. they loaded it up. 
making the beat. I was like, yo, I hear the bass line for it. So, <laughs> laid the bass line. I was like, cool. I'm going in the booth. It's over. And it just, it felt like, to me, it was just like, yo, this song feels like, like I'm the man. Like, like you know, you just walking in the club and it's Come just like, down. yo, it's, but it's not trying hard. A lot, a lot of people like, yeah, I'm in the club. I'm here. 100 bottles, 100 <laughs> this, 100. I'm flashing. I got the Rari in the front. No, like, no, it's about being in the club, stunting and being cool about it. Wow. And that was a whole thing for me. I was like, nah, let me sing in this pocket where it's 100 stacks, all in cash, got the bag on me. Big dog, I'm a boss type of energy. Where it's like I'm almost whispering. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, and it just it happened, bro. Bro, <laughs> bro y'all don't understand the treat that we are giving you today on Top <laughs> Billing. This dude is the next one. Appreciate just see it. it. Feel it, enjoy it because I, I know it when I see it, bro. Your future is so bright, man. It's so nice to see a kid out of my state, Jersey yeah, in the come building. On, come on. That wanted, not, you know, shout out to Rodney Jerkin. Yeah, shout right, out to Rodney. Nah, I, I want to hook you up with so many producers <laughs> yeah, that yeah, I know yeah. that's in my phone. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm thinking I should call Tim and Bob on right a, now. On a, on a group oh. text. <laughs> like, yo, yo, yo. Y'all gonna fuck with Tom right now. Right now, right now, right now. Like, like I mean, I'm thinking of producers in my head right yeah. now that like I feel like would be so dope to, to collab with you. Yo, listen, I'm I'm with the collaborations, man. I'm look, let's go. Cuz I'm I'm I got old school new school. Yeah. You know Brian Morgan? I don't know Brian, don't Morgan. Know Brian Morgan. I don't know Brian uh, Morgan. Brian Morgan wrote all these songs for SWV. Okay. Uh Blackstone. You go to it. <laughs> He OG. Goated. Goat. Goat. Goated. Goat status. You know who else is a dope producer too? Uh, Dream. Oh my, my gosh, gosh, bro. Come on, man. You need one of the Dream. You Come need, on. You, I, please. You need a Dream please, penny dropper. Please, bro. Dream. Please. Dream. dream. He need a penny dropper. Please. Come dream on, man. would be crazy. The American Dream. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dream. Listen, I'm just thinking out loud like producers that I know that yeah. like seem like they would just be like a match in heaven for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, 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 I'm going to give you one more. I'm going to give you one more. One more off the top. Uh, <laughs> let's go down my head. Da, 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 da. Another producer that would be dope for you. Um, let me get you. Let me get you. So we got Dream. We got uh, R&B. 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 Who? Um, oh, man. Work with Chris. God damn. Another guy. I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. I'm trying. Yeah, to yeah, Give yeah. me a second. Give me one second. You know the song? Let me let me tell you. Hold on. I'm going down my head because I'm thinking of songs. Oh, you know who would be dope? Um, um, T Pain. Oh my! You know, all right. So what's crazy is T Pain right. would be nice because T Pain so could listen, do different things. So T Pain. That's what I was thinking about. My record, take it there, right? Uh huh. So you know, shout out Ty. I did that record with Ty. Uh -huh. Um, I remember when it first came out, T Pain had reposted on his story and was like, I think I. You know, I might be wrong, but he was like, what the fuck? And then just all these like, just <laughs> fire signs, like what the fuck is this? And I, I, I hit bro, but I know like, you know, COVID happened and it was, right. it was a lot. We all had to, you know, take a minute. But bro, if you watching bro, I'm a fan. I would love to work with you bro. Please, Bro, man. I haven't gave you no, no whack producers yet. No, 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 none, none at all. What's your manager name? None at all. Oh, Jason right here. Jay, Jay, we good? Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Jay, Jay writing down shit yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. He looked look like he a he real He like that taking notes. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we he from New York. That. He from the East Coast oh, oh, too. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we, locked we, we good. Oh, we, we locked solid. in. We got way about. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if there was a, if there was a, a dream uh, remix, dream remix. I just heard. Um, um, I'm waiting to get Coco Jones on here. Bro. Oh yeah, come on. Coco, shout out Coco. Shout out to Coco. Killing it right now. Coco, I see you is crazy. <sighs> I love that. So she just did a collaboration with Justin, with Justin Timberlake, which is crazy. Yes, yes. Usher just did a collaboration with Money, Money Long, Long yep. which is Woo. crazy. Yeah. So like, we need that tone. We need that tone because we got Listen, one. We got one already, but we need that boom boom. I think it's right. You already talked about Jasmine Sullivan, man. Bro, you I think and Jasmine me Sullivan. Me and Jasmine went, go crazy. It would, it would have had the streets on fire. <laughs> exactly. Because her range is like, she on. One of the best voices she, ever. She on 100%. Yeah. And you on 100%. And <laughs> y'all could just figure out, go in the studio one night and figure out what y'all vibe is, what the right, song right, theme right. is, gonna and be then about. write it, and then go get it. Yeah, yeah, facts. We facts, speaking facts, this. Facts, facts. Into Jazz. existence. Come on. Jazz. <laughs> 
Your boy <laughs> Billy. Your boy Billy. Loves you. Loves you. Because she, <laughs> she got the sisters in the palm of her hand. Yeah, right absolutely. 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 You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and the women love you. But see, what I like about you is like you, you the chicks love you, but you cool enough for us. Got you. Like, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. You that's know, the, you that's ain't, the you way. Know, tank, 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 tank singing naked, you know. <laughs> it's hard to. You know, you want it. You gotta. You clap for Tank like this. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, Ross. Go hey, ahead, man. Bro. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Do, do your you, thing, bro. Do you, funny. brother? Do you? Do you? Put your shirt on, bro. <laughs> bro. See, you dress. You doing your thing. Right, you right, know, right. You, you, you know, you you fly. I get it. I get it. Right, I'm gonna give you an example. Our, on the show, we love to have fun. It's called Top Billing, Top Facts. No, let's do it again. On our show. With all our special guests, we play a game. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's called All Facts. All, right. all Facts. I throw you a question, and all you gotta do is tell the truth, bro. Ooh. All you gotta do is tell the truth. I'm gonna give you a hard one. If you could be in How to Be a Player, and you was the you in Part Two, and you the player, what five artists would you want on your soundtrack? Oh, oh let's go, man. man. Get bro. your weight up, Tone. Ooh. You gotta, all right, because it's gotta be sexy. All right. It's how to be a player part two. Let's go. Got to have it. Come on, man. Panty dropping time. Let's go. All right. So, <laughs> I, I five artists. <laughs> I stumped the shit Got out of them, didn't me, I? Me, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Go. Since, my, since I'm going on tour with my brother. Okay. I'm going to throw Eric Bellinger on there. Oh, lay up. All right. Second, for the culture, throw Usher on there. Oh, yeah. All right? Yeah, man. Third. You talking about sexy, right? Yeah, sexy. I'm gonna go ahead and put the queen on there, Queen Beyonce. Oh. I mean, she she saying Rocket Love. Oh, come on, bro. It, it don't get sexier it, it, than yeah, that. Like, stop. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Beyonce got so many pet. She got draw droppers. We <laughs> forget about the panties. She That's make dudes drop their draws. <laughs> Poof. Where my draws at? God damn, crazy. Beyonce saying my draws off. That's crazy. <laughs> go ahead. Um, two, two more, two more. All right. This is this is four. Um, Penny drop. Since this my this this my sis, and since she coming out the gate swinging, I'm gonna go ahead and throw Maida on there. Yeah, Maida is tough. I'm throw Maida in the playlist. Okay, we got one more. All right, one more. Well, my soundtrack gonna be crazy. Y'all better be ready. I can put me on there, right? What? Come on now. I, I, I thought you were slow. All right, cool. Like, nah, we good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, it's look, your movie. cause you know sometimes it's like, oh yeah, five other people besides yourself. No, but no. Yeah, I'm gonna run the five. Run that. I'm gonna run the five. Run the five. I'm gonna run the and five. And that, that is one of those. I want <laughs> I want movies to go back to that now, cause when I was coming up in the '90s, the uh, the soundtracks was literally like a, a movie in itself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had all the A and R cast was like dropping a new artists. Let me get. I'm gonna take you back to how gangster. How gangster the nineties was. I'm gonna take you back to Love Jones. Okay. Yep. The soundtrack. Uh huh. Let me let me just give you some of the names that was on there. Y'all can look this up. Michelle Indigayacello. Mm. Maxwell. Mm. Ooh. Uh, the Fugees. Mm. Lauren Hill. Come on. Um, who else? One more. One more. One more. Uh, uh, who else? Escape. You said Escape was on there. No, not Escape. Um, look it up. It's one more that you forget that you'll be like, oh shit. Uh, sweetest thing I ever know. That was that's, on that's that's Lauren. That's Lauren. That's Lauren. Who else? Love, Love Jones. Jones. The soundtrack. Just look it up. Look at the artist. Mm -hmm. See, Come that's, on that's now. what I'm saying. These is like Come on this now. is like when they before they all got big. I think Lauren was really at the cusp of like turning that corner where, right she, before. where she became Lauren. Exactly Lauren like, yeah, but, yeah. But um uh, Maxwell's on there too. Ooh. Maxwell, uh it's called Mellow Sweet, right? Yeah, uh, something, something, something. 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 Something, something. Something, something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, can you do something for the ladies on top? Come on, yeah, this yeah. This has never been done before. Let's do it. We want to do a top billing exclusive tone stiff acapella. Oh, of course. Let's get it. All right, look, 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 man. So since I dropped girls like you, right? Let's, let's give them something. We got to do it, right? <clears throat> Where do I start? How do I say this? Yeah. I took some L's I'm not okay with uh, I'm always trying to downplay this I gotta stop before I drive myself crazy Girl, I was giving you all of the time and my attention That's where I thought I knew you But you were just hiding the type of shit you do 
the playing with a nigga's emotions, emotions, yeah. Whoa. It be girls like you that fucking up for everybody else. It be girls like you that's bad for my health. It be girls like you don't know how to keep it true. You supposed to ride or die, too busy telling lies. Yeah. It be girls like you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only on top, Billy, make some noise with Tom Stepp in the belly. That's how we do. And I'm a little bit hoarse too, so there you know. You go. <laughs> so in the building, Jersey. Hey, number one artist in the country, Tone Step, next.